Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this awesome aluminum inlay on a walnut floor all using the Stepcraft M1000 CNC machine. There's a lot of really cool parts that go into this and I can't wait for you guys to see that. So definitely stick around to see how we did it. It's time to get started on a new project here doing something you probably have not seen before. We're using the Stepcraft M1000 CNC machine to create a aluminum inlay into a walnut floor. We're going through here and cutting through the aluminum and that will inlay into the floor after we cut the pockets into the floor, essentially like this. We'll get to more of that satisfying goodness here in just a little bit. So we're using the 51454-Z 1 8 inch spiral O-flute upcut bit with the ZRN coating to cut through this aluminum. I have a misting system set up on the Stepcraft M1000 and as you can see there, some of my hold down method, which we'll show you here in just a little bit, failed me in that one particular spot and I'll explain why. We're going through here in four passes to get through all of the aluminum and then we'll just get that sucked off and you can see that that popped right off. Essentially, that's because I'm using the blue tape method. So I'm using painter's tape on both sides of the material. I have ore mask set down on the wasteboard of the M1000. That way I don't get any of that misting fluid on the MDF. So then we'll just use some painter's tape on the back side of the aluminum material. And then I'll use some starbond adhesive CA glue with some accelerator to attach my material. So we'll put all of the CA glue all over the aluminum piece. And as you can see, as we go here, I missed the one spot that that middle of the A was on, but the rest of it absolutely held down perfectly. And it's a really easy way to hold down thin materials like this aluminum and do so very securely. You just make sure that you spread the super glue around a little bit better and uh, you'll make sure that everything holds in place. As you can see, it's nice and tight. So we can get back to showing you how we're actually cutting everything. So we got all of this stuff cut out with the eighth inch bit and we'll get switched out for the 51402-Z one quarter inch spiral O flute up cut bit to go through and cut this in two passes. So all of the rest of the letters have pretty wide details where the inside of the A and the Y had some spots that I wanted to use an eighth inch bit on. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at tools today. So we're gonna go through here with the quarter inch bit and cut the rest of these letters out. While these bits are designed to dry cut aluminum, they will also work with the misting system. The misting system will increase the longevity of the tool as well as provide a higher quality cut because it keeps everything cool. The number one enemy of any sort of cutting tool is heat and that misting system basically just helps evacuate those chips with some of the compressed air that's fed through it as well as that liquid that is put on there to help lubricate everything and keep everything nice and cool. So we're going to go through here and cut out the rest of the design and then we'll go and cut all of the individual letters as well. I think it's super satisfying to see the way that the chips come off of the bit and how the chips also change direction when the bit does. Once everything is done cutting, we're able to just pull all of those up and everything pulls off really nice and cleanly, leaving all the stuff that we do not need as part of our design left behind. So now that everything is pulled up, we can get the aura mask removed and this was insanely satisfying. A super easy way to clean that up. All of the mess went along with it, so that was nice to see. You can see the really nice clean cuts that we're getting here through that aluminum and it definitely did a great job with that and I couldn't be happier with those results. So now that the aluminum portion of this project is done, I'll remove the wasteboard off of the machine and then just get that set to the side. We'll take it off of the stand itself. We're gonna get it set up so that we can carve on the floor. These are the vacuum rails that attach to the machine using a couple of screws through the T-slots that are on the bottom of the machine. We'll just get those inserted and then insert them into each one of the sides and tighten everything down. Then we'll get it all moved over into the shop after we set the center point of exactly where we want this logo to be. So we got everything set down there and I used a block of wood to help square everything up to the piece of floor that we have. And we'll use these vacuum hoses that come with it to attach to a vacuum so that we can suck it directly down to the floor. Using the fine turbo two vacuum, we're able to get everything sucked down and this is going absolutely nowhere. I was really impressed with how well this vacuum works. I would actually pull up the entire floor before I actually got the CNC to lift off of it. So I use a V-bit to mark the center as it comes to a perfect point and it's a lot easier to mark that center location. Then I use the auto tool changer to pick up the 46202-K quarter inch down cut bit to do the majority of the waste removal. So this is gonna go through and leave a nice clean cut on the top surface of the material as we're going through the walnut laminate flooring and it does a nice job leaving clean cuts. So the down cut action of the bit forces those fibers down. So that way you have a clean top surface instead of using something like an upcut bit where you're gonna end up with frays along the top surface. So it's gonna go through here and do the entire outline 
and all of the letters itself. You can see here it is sucked to the floor. It's pretty amazing to see. I've never seen something like this before, so I definitely think it's a really, really cool feature and something that uh, not, not a lot of CNCs are able to do. So we're going to go and get all of those cut, the A and the Y, as we did with the aluminum. We're going to come back and use a 1 8 inch bit to clean up some of those finer details. So we'll use the auto tool changer again and get that switched out for the 46200-K 1 8 inch down cut bit to come back and clean up those edges to get a nice tighter radius than we can get with that quarter inch bit. So it's just going to run around that profile one time just to make those a little bit sharper. We'll get everything all vacuumed off and uh, that was quite the process process and then get the CNC removed off and you can see what that logo looks like before we get everything glued in. So using some Starbond adhesive thick CA glue, we're going to get all of those letters inserted. This is insanely satisfying to see all these letters fitting in here absolutely perfectly. I used a minus 0 0.002 inch pocket allowance to get this nice tight fit and it absolutely fit perfectly. So I was really happy to see that the way everything worked here. This nice tight fit will allow me to use the super glue just to kind of hold things in place. The pocket will actually hold everything in place long term, but the super glue just makes sure that it stays down just a little bit. So we got everything inserted and the final one was this outline. I was pretty nervous making sure that this was going to fit, but it fit perfectly. This is the one that everything could have gone wrong on as I had five separate locations that I was trying to get everything to fit into and it did work just the way that I had intended and I'm super happy with the way that everything turned out. So you can see as we walk into the office we now have a nice walnut pad with the Tools Today logo inlaid in it and I couldn't be happier with the way that everything turned out. This was something that was completely new and different for me so I learned a lot throughout the process and definitely will take that into future projects. But anyways that's going to do it for this one. We hope that you guys enjoyed this project and uh, found some of this information a little bit useful. But anyways we would uh, love to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.